Hi, I'm Heidi with Oni Go Stamping. Welcome to my craft corner. I am so excited today to share with you a technique. It is called collage stamping, or maybe you might call it grungy stamping. It's a little bit dirty, not messy though, just really fun layering up stamped images, stenciling, and ink blending. And for this project, I'm gonna be using some brand new stamps from the 2021-2022 annual catalog from Stampin' Up. I am so excited for this catalog. It is coming out on May 4th. If you don't have yours already, go ahead and leave me a comment or send me an email. Let me know you still need one and I will work on getting one out in the mail to you. I also have coming up a catalog kickoff event, a catalog kickoff party for this new catalog. And that is not gonna be actually till June 5th. So it's about a month after the catalog is released. But I'm doing this for a reason, because with your card kit that you get in the mail, you are also going to get a paper share. You're gonna get a sample, a six by six sample of all of the different pattern papers that are in the new catalog. You're not gonna to wanna to miss this. It is a fantastic deal. You'll find all the information on my website. The uh, link to my website is of course in the description to this video. You're also going to find dimensions for today's projects and more still photos of the projects over there as well. If you liked today's video, make sure that you like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Okay, Oni Go, let's get stamping. For the card that I'm going to be making today, I'm going to be using the Quiet Meadow, Meadow Bundle. That's kind of hard to say, Quiet Meadow Bundle. This is a fabulous bundle that is going to be available in the new 2021-2022 annual catalog that comes out on May 4th. Really excited for this. So this is kind of a little bit of a sneak peek for you. And it includes the Quiet Meadow stamp set and then the Quiet Meadow dies, or just Meadow dies, I guess is what they are called. And these dies are fabulous. There are all these silhouettes of flowers and some tags in there as well. And just really, really pretty. You really don't even need to use the stamp set and the dies together. They do, the tag does fit really well with the sentiments, but otherwise these dies don't cut out anything from the stamp set. So they don't have to go together, but they work really well together, especially doing this collage stamping that I'm going to show you today. So in addition to the Quiet Meadow stamp set, I'm also gonna grab the Forever Fern and just use one of those ferns. They are a little bit different. You can see that the Forever Fern stamp set is one of our distinctive stamp sets. So it has a lot more etching whereas the Quiet Meadow is just a, a regular traditional fine line stamp set. All right, so let me set those aside so we can get started. <laughs> Things are falling off my table over here. All right, I am starting with a piece of Sahara Sand cardstock. This piece is three and three quarters by five inches. So it's about a half inch difference uh, than from your regular card front, right? All right, what I wanna do is I'm gonna start with the flower. Here's the flower. <clears throat> I'm gonna start with that. And I am gonna ink that up. Every time I do this, it does end up a little bit different. So what you see here uh, is different than maybe what you're gonna see on my website. The website does have all of the supply lists and more still photos of the projects as well so all right let's see what we're gonna do because every time you do it it just turns out a little bit different right so I'm gonna stamp three of these and I like to use basically um, three colors of ink I am gonna add in a fourth color um, but you want to balance out your dark colors and your light colors so I'm starting with black, which is the darkest color that I'm gonna use. And you can see I've stamped three on here. I like to stick with odd numbers whenever possible. So you can see I have three and they're kind of evenly spaced. So they're not exactly like lined up, but they have an overall uh, balance to them on the sheet, right? They have kind of a center symmetry if we want to say that. Now I'm gonna grab my soft suede ink. This is kind of my second darkest color. And with the soft suede, I'm gonna add in some of these wildflowers. The other thing that I like to do when I am doing collage stamping is that I really work kind of on a grid. So you'll see these ones are very straight up and down. I'm gonna 
add a second one without inking up again. And then everything is gonna be kind of this way or perpendicular. So I'm actually gonna come up here and you know what? I'm gonna put it over here this time. And I'm gonna come in and I'm actually gonna stamp these sideways. And a second one just like that. So it doesn't have to be straight. This is just, you know, a background that we're creating here. Um, so it doesn't have to kind of follow the usual rules of, of what we're doing. Everything's gonna be a little bit wonky. All right, I'm gonna pull in my silicone craft sheet. And this has embossing powder on it, but that's okay. Just try to rub that off, all right. I like, I'm gonna do some ink blending and I like to use a silicone craft sheet for my ink blending for a couple reasons. One, it's a little bit sticky. So when I go to blend this, this is holding down my cardstock so it doesn't move um, without having to tape it or anything. And then I'm the other reason is that when I do the ink blending, if I get ink on the sides, it's not gonna soak in like it would on paper, which means that my brush is gonna pick that back up and keep using it. And I can uh, get away with using a little bit less ink, having to re-ink re up my brush less often. Whew, that is hard to say. Oh, before I do this mask, I actually wanna do something else first. So I'm gonna grab one of our new in colors. Again, this is from the new 2021-2022 catalog that is coming out. It is Pale Papaya. And I'm gonna start by inking up my blending brush right in there, give it a good rub. And then I'm going to tap this off on a clear block. And now I wanna come in, I'm gonna start with a light pressure and just to add some color to those biggest flowers that I did. So I'll start light and then get a little bit darker. Grab some more ink and do the next one. I like to tap off. It helps you keep from kind of getting a big blob. You know, a dark spot, because you want your ink blending to be nice and soft on the edges. All right, I can come in and pick up some of that ink from my clear block, and I'll add that to this third flower down here. And just kind of swirling this in circular motion. All right, I want to add just a little bit more. Get that a little bit darker. And there we go. So there I've added some uh, pale papaya. Now I'm bringing in one of my basic masks. I'm going to use the polka dot one. Now I can see through this where I have stamped my images. I do, you know, want to overlap a little bit, but I kind of with this layer, I want to come in and fill in some of these holes that I have. And when I am doing this, I don't want to cover the whole thing. I'm not trying to get dots all over. I'm just trying to give kind of a subtle pattern in certain areas. So it's going to get lighter and darker. And I really, you know, don't want it to be even. So I'm just going to come in here and I might, you know, trail off to the sides just a little bit. So it just kind of gets a hint. bit more in here let's see that is looking pretty good so you can see how it you know it's there but it kind of isn't there <laughs> it's there but it's not there right um, it overlaps and kind of fills in some gaps and things um, but it, it fades off into the into the edges so there is um, just a little bit of ink blending on there. We're gonna come back and do some more ink blending in just a few minutes. Um, but I wanna go ahead and fill in a little bit more stamping, right? Add a little bit more to our collage. So this time I'm gonna come in with the Sahara Sand ink pad, and I am going to use this word stamp. I'm not gonna say it is a greeting stamp, because you can see it is not solid. You cannot read this, it is not meant to be read. It's really meant for stamping backgrounds, which is what we are going to do with it. So I'm going to ink this up with Sahara Sand, which if you remember, that's the color of this cardstock. So we're doing tone on tone here. And I'm just going to add some of this to these edges. All right, and I'm going to come in here. I'm going to do it sideways. And I'm just stamping a couple times 
each time. All right, and let's, hmm, let's add just a little bit more. It's coming down here. There we go. Actually, I'm just gonna do just a tiny bit. So I kind of just, you know, look for holes and see where I wanna fill in and add some things. Now, I want to add this fern image here. I just wanna add just a little bit. And actually, you know, I was gonna do this in green, but I think I wanna stick with these colors. So I'm gonna stick with the Sahara sand, and I'm just gonna add just, I think I'm even gonna stamp this off. I'm just gonna add a few of these on here just for a little bit more something. There we go. And that is just filling in, again, filling in some of those gaps. Let's just do one right in here. There we go. And now there's just a couple more things I wanna do. You can see how this is all starting to come together um, and overlapping and you know, there's really no rules. I'm giving you some tips and techniques, um, some hints, design hints, I guess we'll call them. Um, but really this is no rules stamping, right? No rules. So I'm gonna come in with the pale papaya again and try to stamp these straight. These are really hard to get straight, but just adding some little flowers and I'm doing kind of like three in a row. And again, you know, just building on top of this. When I'm doing collage stamping, a lot of times I start from the outside and work in and I really laid things down so that they are in relation to other things. So nothing's kind of like hanging out on its own. Everything is kind of, you know, next to something else. There we go. I just wanna add, I'm just gonna add one right in there. All right. Actually, I'm gonna, there was a line here and I'm gonna continue it. Add one there and one down here. Now, I said I was gonna do a little bit more ink blending, so let me go ahead and put the pale papaya away. I'm gonna pull back out my Sahara sand. I'm going to grab my silicone craft sheet again, and lay this down. And now I'm gonna grab another blending brush and I'm gonna ink this up with the Sahara sand. And again, I'll just tap this off on my clear block. And now I'm just gonna come in in some different areas and just add a little bit more ink. And what you'll see is that where I had already stamped things in Sahara sand or in other browns, it's gonna make it kind of pop a little bit more. It's interesting how this works. So just adding in some different areas. I'm not gonna do the whole thing again. Just doing bits of it. and kind of starting off the paper and then coming in. And you can see how that just kind of builds up a little bit. And just a little bit more up here. Now that's looking pretty good. I wanna do one last thing to this. I'm gonna come in with my Sahara sand and I'm actually going to swipe this right over the edges to give those edges a lot of definition and even more of kind of a grungy, dirty feel to them. So there's that with the Sahara sand. I'm gonna grab my soft suede and I'm gonna do the same thing with soft suede. But this time I'm not gonna do it all over. I'm just gonna add some, some swipes here and there because if I did the whole thing, it would just be too much, but just a little bit of that extra dark soft suede and coming in even add a little bit of an angle so I get those, you know, kind of triangular bits there. All right, so there we go. There's our collage background. Now let's see how I put this together in a card, all right? So I have a piece of basic black cardstock. This is uh, 3 16 inch bigger. So I know a lot of times people don't like to do a 3 16 inch border. Um, you, a lot of times the standard is to do a quarter inch. 
three sixteenths is not any harder than doing a quarter inch. All you have to do is think in quarter inches and then pull it back one little tip, tick mark, right? So we're gonna add this to the front. So this black is, it is, let me tell you, three and 15 sixteenths by five and three sixteenths. Oops, got a little bit too much glue on there. So I'm just gonna use my multi-purpose glue. I got a lot in that corner, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab, I have a little, um, little sponge here. I'm just gonna sponge that out. We're gonna use that again in just a minute. I just don't want that glue smooshing out the sides. So this is just gonna go on this piece of basic black cardstock. All right, and now, also coming in the new catalog, we have this new Baker's Twine Essential Pack. This is so awesome. It comes in five different colors, and of course, I don't remember exactly what colors they are. We have basic black, I know, um, I think, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think this one's crumb cake. This one might be Sahara Sand, um, but I don't think I'm gonna use that one. And then, of course, there's white, too, so. Um, let me see. I actually think I want to use the basic black. We're going to add just a little bit more black to this. So let's go ahead and put this around the front here. And I'm just going to tie this in a bow. I love this black baker's twine. I don't know what it is about just having the black accents just really help make things pop especially on this card, because we're gonna add a little bit more black to it as well. All right. And I might move this bow around. I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing yet. That happens. Just trying to get, get my loops to straighten out a little bit. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. They are wanting to twist on me today, so you might just have to go with the twist. So I'll go ahead and trim this off. Now, I told you that I was going to be using the dies today, right? So let me go ahead, I'm gonna grab one of these dies. I'm gonna use this one right here. And I'm gonna pull in my mini cut and emboss machine. Love this machine. It's a mini size, so it's nice and lightweight. Great for carrying. Just pop open the sides. And then I have my plates. So I have a number one plate here. And then I have two number twos. One is my bottom plate and one is my top plate. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay down my first number two plate. And now I'm gonna put this piece of black in here and I'm gonna put my die right over top of that. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and cut two, just in case I change my mind about what die I wanna use, because that happens. So, let me see, oh, you know what, no. I'm gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna change my mind again. So, I'm gonna put my second cutting plate on top, squish that together, and get it started through my machine. Now I just need to put my hand on top to hold it down and crank the handle. And it squishes right through there. This is gonna give us a beautiful silhouette of a wildflower. Isn't that pretty? So we will use that in just a second. I wanna cut one more thing while we got this out. I am gonna grab this tag from the set, really great tag. And I actually have a piece of basic white cardstock. So I have just a little piece of basic white. I'm gonna set this on my, uh, my cutting plate as well. I'm gonna grab my number two. I'm gonna move this out to the outside, try to keep my, my plates from getting too warped. If you move your dies around, make sure you're putting them towards the outsides and the ends. It's gonna help keep your plates from getting warped. You also wanna flip over your plates regularly, which will also help keep them from warping too much. And this is totally moving the paper on my desk. <laughs> 
Sorry about that. So, all right, we'll move this out of the way. Make sure that, uh, yeah, we're still good. And put my cutting plates out of the way. And now I have this fun little tag here that is perfect. It's gonna be perfect for the front of my card. All right. So let's start, let's work some more on putting this together. This, this little guy is gonna go right on the front. I'm not sure which side I wanna put him on. Maybe over here. And then our tag is gonna go right over top. Isn't that cute? Oh, so cute. So I'm not sure, do I want that there? Do I want it here? This is always the discussions I have with myself. I think I want it here. All right. Let's go ahead and stamp. I'm gonna stamp thinking of you on this little tag. see how I did oh, not too bad and I'm just stamping this in jet black memento ink while I have this out I'm gonna grab oh, hold on let me go grab a piece for the inside of my card okay I grabbed a piece for the inside of my card it is four inches by five and a quarter inch and I'm just gonna grab a sentiment for the inside that says help heartfelt love and caring thoughts are with you We'll just stamp that right up there. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab this flower and I'm gonna put it right down there at the bottom just to add a little bit of something. Oh, you know what I forgot to add to our card front? I'll have to come back to it. I forgot to add some speckles. All right, let me do just a little bit of ink blending on the inside before I forget. I always forget to do the insides of the cards. How about you? Do you forget to do the insides of the cards? Because I sure do. So we'll just add a little bit of this pale papaya right in there. And then what I forgot to do on my card front was to add some speckles. But I'm just going to add these speckles in right here. Let's go back and add some speckles to our card front too. Because we can do that. Let's just add some of these in. They're not going to do much, but it just gives it a little bit more something. So there's just added a little bit of speckles in there too. All right. Let's add our flower. I'm going to grab my silicone craft sheet. I'm actually going to turn this over. Um, and what I want to do, grab my glue, my multi-purpose glue, and put some multi-purpose glue on here. Now you'll notice it's pretty, um, it's pretty bluffy, and this is a pretty thin, thin area. So what I have is that I have a sponge on a little uh, binder clip, and all I do is I just take this, and I will just sponge out that adhesive a little bit so it's not so clumpy and it's not going to squish out the sides when I put this down. So we'll add this to the card front and slide it right under my bow. Probably should have tied the bow second, but don't always, don't always do that, do I? All right, we'll just glue this right down and you'll see how nice all those edges stick since I since I went ahead and sponged that area. All right, we'll snip off the bottom here. Give that a little snip. Doing all sorts of stuff, all sorts of stuff going on here. All right, where's our thinking of you? Let's see if we can get this bow. So that bow is gonna be underneath. I'm gonna pull it out just a little bit more. And I'm actually gonna put this tag kind of over top of the bow. And I'm gonna add it with Stampin' Dimensionals. Let me grab, grab my dimensionals here. And I think I wanna put them, I'm gonna put them towards the top, hopefully kind of leave some space for that, for the bump of my, of my bow and the bump of the baker's twine underneath there. So I'll just put those right on top. 
there is chaos on my desk, find my take your pick tool and just pull those right off, pull the backs off there. And then we'll add this right kind of over the top here. There we go. Now, totally missed one of the, there we go, all right. I'm gonna grab my card base, which is also Sahara sand. And this is five and a half by eight and a half. Again, all the measurements are on my website and I have more samples for you. So don't go anywhere. I have more samples of this technique to share with you. So I'm just gonna give this a good fold, good crease with my bone folder. And we'll add this to my card front. If I can find my adhesive. <laughs> and I have one more thing I wanna add to this too, so. All right, we'll add a little adhesive there. This is gonna go on my card front. Just like that. Give that a nice squish down. I'll hold that in place for just a second. I wanna, while I'm holding that, I'm gonna show you what I wanna add to this. So I have these fun bumblebee trinkets. That's what they're called. These are also going to be in the new 2021, 2022 catalog, and they're absolutely gorgeous. Let me see if I can hold this up. If the camera will, there you go. Isn't that, aren't those pretty? They're just so bright gold and pretty, and I absolutely love them. And I want to add some to my card front here. So I think actually I'm going to put them kind of right up, maybe right up here. Let's see what this is going to look like. Hmm, do I want that? See, this is where the, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing comes in, right? Or do I wanna just put one down here, kind of hiding? Hmm, I think I'm gonna go ahead and stick them right up here at the top and get that little bit of, you know what? I want to use these, but part of me is like, I really just wanna grab, you know what? I really want to use those, but I'm going to actually grab instead. If I can find them, where are they? Uh, yeah, I want to grab my black matte dots here and I can't find them. Oh, there we go. So I really want to use these bumblebees and I will show you another sample of almost this exact same card that actually has one of these bumblebees on it that really was what I had planned to do. But as I'm sitting here, I just, uh, I wanna put these black matte dots on here. I just think they're really gonna pull the black in. So I'm gonna grab, grab these, and I'm gonna set these right up here. Just gonna balance out all the, the other black on this card. There we go, right like that. Oh yeah, that was the right that was the right thing to do. I think. What do you think? I'll show you the other one too. You can see kind of what the difference is, and I want to make sure I add my my inside. Don't want to forget that. Put a little adhesive on there. And then this goes just right on the inside of my card. Wiggle that in so it is straight. There we go. So there is our beautiful thinking of you card. Let me show you the sample that I used the bumblebee on. We'll see what you think. So this is the one that I did and it has a bumblebee on it, but I did a black tag and I embossed the thinking of you and I added that bumblebee right there on the front. So a little bit different. I don't know, what do you think? Black tag or white tag? Hmm, hard to choose. Let me show you some more samples that I actually have of this. Oh, and look, here's another sample. This is the same card, I just used a different, look at that, I used a different, uh, a different die cut here. So, all right, I told you, every time it comes out a little bit different, but I actually have other samples too. So let me show you, this is using the Dragonfly Garden stamp set. Let me zoom in. Can I zoom in just a little bit? There we go. The Dragonfly Garden stamp set. And I stamped 
the dragonfly garden. I don't know if you can see this. This is so sparkly. I colored his wings with just a little bit of Wink of Stella. So they are super, super sparkly. I have some of the ladybug trinkets up there in that corner. Um, I use the tasteful labels tags to do that and stamp that on there. And this is on So Saffron with, uh, with soft suede. So really pretty. Then I have one with the Enjoy the Moment stamp set. And this is on green. So the other ones, so you can see I used, today we used the Sahara Sand. And then I showed you one that was more with the So Saffron. So you can just really choose any light color to, to stamp on. And this is with the uh, Soft Sea Foam in the background. This is the Enjoy the Moment stamp set. I actually have it in French, so this is a French greeting, but it comes in English. And I use the Forever Greenery Ribbon Combo, tri the Trim Combo Pack on here, which I absolutely love. I love this Trim Combo Pack. So sad that it is going away. And then this is a die cut from the Forever Forever Flourishes dies that go with the Forever Greenery, um, the Forever Fern stamp set, right? They all go together. All right. So those are my samples for you. What do you think? Which one do you like best? And which one, uh, which one of the white or the black? Hmm, I'm not sure. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. Didn't you love that new stamp set? And those dies are fantastic. I know that you are gonna wanna get your hands on them as well. If you liked today's video, make sure that you like, subscribe, share it with your friends, and then come on back and see me for more tips, techniques, and inspiration. I'll see you next time, bye-bye.